Okay. It's time for game. Oh shit, thank you for pull. We'll play. I don't think this is. From what I was told, the game is like three to three to four hours long. Oh my god! We have to look at this conversation all over again. Oi! 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 This motherfucking Rick and Morty asshole. Oi! Oi! I already read all this shit yesterday. How can I fast forward? Oh no, I put a different one. I was gonna put I'm ready for the job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know my mission. I know my mission. Leave it to me, boss. Good luck, Carl. Just one thing, MIT boy. Strictly follow the regulations and do not act on your own. I'm not an idiot, but thanks for the advice. I will be a dick today. This reminds me of my... F I fucking hate this guy. Wubba lubba dub dub my asshole. Okay, click text with red underline after dragging the data. Wait. After clicking, the data dragging effect will be activated. Drag it to the archive system on the right. Left click to release the data. Okay. I'm Agent Q from the Accident Investigation Department. Containment breach occurred at Pony Station and contact with the Foundation has been lost. I'm putting my sword on my head. No! Pony Station and retrieve the black box. Following is a transcript of the interview with Bella Lawrence. What is this? Oh god, oh god, oh god. My fucking sword. What is this? What is this about? Blood pressure 175 or 110. I've been taking mild convulsions. I administered five milligrams of metoprolol to help control blood pressure. Metoprolol? <laughs> Bella? Bella? My name is Bella Swan. The drugs seem to be taking effect. Go ahead and ask questions. I can't be certain how long she'll stay away from me. Where's the black box, Sparrow? So I gotta turn up the, the, the volume. My ear. Three days ago, you were tasked with investigating the situation at Site 74, Pony Station. Pony. You were assigned to retrieve the black box. Now, out with it. Where is the black box? I brought it back. I brought the black box back. Don't lie to us. You never brought it back. No. 
That that's impossible. I remember. I completed my assigned task. I I swear I shaved my head. Oh. All right, here now. This isn't an interrogation. We are not here to lay blame or point any fingers. Why don't you turn on the light so I can see your face? Bella, I'm terribly sorry to have to bother you in such a state, but it is critical that we find that black box. I don't know where it we is! We need to know what happened at Pony Station. My... my memory's a mess at the moment. That's fine. We'll take it slowly. Step by step. Why don't we start from the moment you received your mission? Tell us what you remember. I'll try. That night. That night. Currently heading to mission site, Site 74, Pony Station. We'll arrive in about three minutes. Very good, Sparrow. It's been 48 hours since the Foundation lost contact with Pony Station. SCP-701 experiments there have been ongoing. What's we have SCP reason to suspect a containment breach. What is my mission? According to Foundation Security Regulation 709S, each site must have a black box placed in a secure area to assist in identifying the cause of an accident, should one occur. Your task is to investigate the situation and retrieve the black box. A plane? Black box? Got it. Okay, I've arrived. Oh God, here I go. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Let me change my category. Is that my car? Oh my god, look at all these birds. I'm able to observe the mission site from here, but it doesn't seem like one of the Foundation's secure facilities. Pony Station, officially known as Site 74, was originally a hydroelectric power station. After it was abandoned, the Foundation repurposed it as one of their sites. Initially, it was used only to contain a few safe level anomalies, but recently it's also taken over SCP-701. I don't know all the details. We won't know the truth until you retrieve the black box. Got it. I'll complete the task no. as instructed and retrieve the black box. Is it that way or that way? Both? Oh, it is both. Whoa. Can't counter? A device capable of measuring the... The heck is a Hume's? Hamuzes. Calculate the reality bending rate in real time. Okay. What? Reality Anchor. One of the best weapons for combating against reality bending and reducing the psychological damage in an area! What is this? A Y blocker? A 60 ml injection. Inject this blocker to stop neurotransmitters from behaving erratically as a result of unavoidable reality bending. What the fuck? A Polaroid photo of a black cube! The objective of this mission! Oh. Okay. Oh. 
Okay. Oh, click to observe. Press tab to open the collection. Okay. My god, it's so dark out here. Dear god. Reality benders are people I've with just god entered power? Station. Retrieve the black box from the lab. Room 705. Take the elevator. Seventh floor. Sparrow. Must. What's that? Bald Eagle. You're cutting out. Wait. Oh fuck. Let me let me go on the other side. Oh god, what does this all mean? Much better. Holy now let's shit. find that elevator. Yeah, back seating is allowed, don't worry. Why is there a playground in oh no, that's not a playground? Personnel on duty shall not leave early. Absence from work is strictly prohibited. Personnel who cannot be on duty due to special circumstances shall promptly coordinate with the site director. All personnel. Da -da 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 Spare key to room 101 placed under the flower pot in the visitor's lobby. If used, please place it back in its original location. Okay. Oh, cool. Ohio issued 25 cent coin. What a weird place. Home on the range with a deer and the antelope play. Today I read Dr. George Thompson's research log for SCP-701. Could it be true? Has he really been performing comparison experiments on chimpanzees this whole time? What? The whole thing is turning out to be an ungodly mess and now it's abundantly clear why the Foundation transferred him out of Pony Station. SCP-701 holds great potential. The direction- the whole direction of the project was all wrong. I still believe that I will have to adopt a new method of study. Efficient, fast, direct. It all begins tomorrow. Dr. Tyler Cooper. I've heard of this guy. A bit of an eccentric and a thrill seeker. I gotta get that key, baby. The key, baby. Hello. What the fuck? What 
What? Uh, what? What is the purpose of these things? Aren't those supposed to be like on the top of a building? Where's the play place? Where's the ball pit? That's a big ass fucking flashlight. Holy shit. Package? What's all these papers? Holy shit. Pick up your tr Pick up your trash. Nothing's there. What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? I know you heard that. Oh my god! Stop! Uh, don't do scary stuff, guys. Stop it. Scene size palace, forest, monastery. Banquet hall? Huh? What is that noise? Why is everything sounding so scary? All the plans, including the project schedule that follows, have been disrupted. The actors of the whole site is there. They managed to procure a goddamn script from God knows where, and they've taken over my laboratory accordingly. And Dr. Cooper, or whatever his name is, in particular, he puts on airs every time the operation starts as if everyone should listen to him. Who does he think he is? I have to let him know who's the boss around here. I'll show you who's... Oh my god, this scares shit out of me. Show you who's boss, motherfucker. Whoa, what the fuck? Did you hear that? Am I going crazy? I swear to you, like... What the fuck? Oh no. The play is starting. Is it really a play? What's it called? Uh... Hello? The Hanged King? Hello? Hello? Jesus Christ. 
All this for a fucking play? What the fuck is this? What are we in the fucking Met? What is this, Madison Square Garden? Ew! Rit. A fucking rat. My cousins. Oh my god. What is that noise? What was that? Did you hear that stomping around? Purchasing list? Multimeter maintenance kit, wild coders, blah 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 What is that stomping? This is where he was looking at me. The, the, the creature thing. The, was it a mannequin? I hate this. They're sitting there. They're just sitting there. This must be the elevator. To the seventh floor then. To the seventh floor then. I need entrance card. Does anybody ever believe in turning on the lights? Ever? Ever in my freaking life? Can you please turn on the lights? Does this not bother your eyes? Not being able to see? Because it bothers me. We offered the hanged king we served. I serve my king with my blood. Blissful suffocation, sacrifice of sin. What's this? Oh okay. no! No! Ah! My head! Ah! Holy shit. Oh 
Oh, you dumbass bitch. I'm very familiar with cognito hazards. I've been trained to deal with them. But this wasn't anything like that. I couldn't breathe. It was like there was a knot tied around my throat. I was weightless, hanging, gasping. No matter how much I struggled, nothing helped. That does sound terrifying. But perhaps it was just a nightmare, though. Uh... No. We wake up from nightmares. Not from this. Oh, no. How did I get in the elevator? Are you kidding me? Oh, no. It's even lower than before. I've got a place every hour. What is that stomping around? I feel like they're talking. They're like looking at me. What? I guess I'm taking the stairs. It's locked. Well, I'm fucked. Whatever stomping around is gonna kill me. It's gonna. Hey, they're gone. What are you doing? Taking a fucking piss? Incomplete script? I'm not reading. <laughs> ah! You son of a bitch! Stop looking at me while you pee! When the game goes silent, fuck. <sighs> Please stop. Stop doing this. Stop it. Please. Wait, what the fuck? Is this where I came from? Yeah, it is. Okay. Next bathroom. Oh god, this one's taking a shit! I don't like the silence, I don't like the silence, I don't like the silence, I don't like the silence. I don't like the silence. 
like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. This cognito hazard. Could it have something to do with SCP-701? The situation here is much more serious than I expected. What's this way? I think. Oh my god, do you think the puppets are the former staff? That's terrifying if it is. <sighs> oh god, this is like... from the other game. I don't like that. No, I don't like this. Uh... What? She was injected with Class A amnestics and was sent away from sight? What happened? What happened? Lisa Amanda! Oh no. Oh god. Incident clipping one on December 19th local time, a mass blah, 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 incident involving seven several students on, in the auditorium of Prencester High School took place. The incident escalated into a violent riot with fighting on a mass scale. The incident reportedly took place in the auditorium while blah, 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 as all participants were in the process of blah, 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 this triggered the audience to attack each other, resulting in 13 deaths and 27 injuries. And the cause of the incident is unknown at the time. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, okay. So many files. This must be the archive room. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Swear to God. Okay. I need the handle. To move it to get out. I get it. Hello, have you ever heard of something called... A fucking... Lamp? It's all very unusual these days. Many people have come to the site, but they haven't registered with the authorities. I've heard that Cooper and his team are rehearsing a script into a play, and that all participants are required to record their daily status. My experiment has to be put on hold because there's no one left to work on it. It's not right. I'll write an email to the minister and inform him of the malpractice going on here. Who's that? The malpractice? 
Press E to switch pictures. Okay. Whoa, look at all those... those... those things. Floopy! Floopy this! Okay. Okay, well, I'm glad I got what I needed. Rotated <laughs> Get fucking rotated, bitch. No. In the vent? At first, most of the on-site personnel were apprehensive about participating, but after distributing some SCP-701 documents to a few volunteers, they began widely circulated, and the number of people coming to sign up suddenly increased. It's rather curious how it happened, and I haven't quite figured out the reason behind it yet, but it's welcome news, and I'll take it as a good omen. Now I've managed to mobilize the entire station to participate. Every single person! It was my chance to prove myself. An opportunity like this doesn't come every day. Oh, God. What a fucking idiot. Oh, Dr. Cooper needs so many volunteers. What on earth is this SCP-701? All right, I have a question. How come when I was in the vent the first time, every time I moved, I would make a huge banging noise? But now, I'm in the vent now, and I'm not making a huge banging noise. What does that mean? Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. 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 on my side. This ought to get me to the seventh floor. Uh. What? Down? Whoever does that, I fucking hate you. <laughs> fucking hate you. Bruh. The Hang King's Trap.
tragedy. Sacrifice everything. Rehearsal notice. First group rehearsal. Second group rehearsal. Final group performance. Rehearsal notice? This is where one rehearsal took place. This is another rehearsal took place there. Thank you for the better lease. What? What the fuck? Huh? No. What the hell is going on here? Fourth floor again? There's no seventh floor, is there? Something to do with these clocks. Wait. Oh, thank you so much for the gifted subs, Jaw. Nine PM. Just rotate until the ding. We're talking about I am rotating. Okay. It was 740 something on the fifth floor. 746 on the fifth floor. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Oh god, I just got an achievement called Showtime. What the fuck? <laughs> What's down there? Oh my god. 
What the fuck? This is a fucking sewer. Oh no. I keep rubber banding. Ah! Ew, what is that? Close. This caca. Like a rope looped around my neck, pulling tight, weightless. Suffocation, hanging, no breathing. Nothing around me, just my feet dangling, struggling, fighting. It will swallow me and make me its slave. Bella, you are completely safe here. Nothing can hurt you. Okay. Let's continue. The situation there was much worse than expected. Much worse. I knew I had to get in touch with the Foundation. Uh, I the managed to find a phone. Papa Roach? And I called her back up. This is Sparrow, 09868, for Bald Eagle. I'm at Pony Station on the seventh floor. The situation here is much worse than expected. I need backup. Bella, are you sure this is actually what happened? Whoa, what? What do you mean? Yes, of course I'm sure. Come on, Bella. Try and focus. What? What are you talking about? Bella, you never made that phone call. I... of course I... What? I... Pony Station was completely cut off. There was no contact with the outside world whatsoever. A phone call? That would have been impossible. No, I... but... I saw... Oh shit, it's the guy from the other one!
that. All right, hold on. Is it this one? look this up I might I, I'm not gonna lie I might go look it up because I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do the door hold on i'm looking i'm looking fuck this shit i'm looking because it makes no sense It makes no sense to me. What the fuck? Huh? Wait, what?
How the fuck do y'all run this motherfucker? Okay, uh... What? Is mine bugged or something? Because it seems like they got away from him fine. Oh, it's okay. I don't mind backseating. Don't worry. I am- I am using Sprint, guys. Maybe, yeah, maybe. But in the in the video, he doesn't go. The person doesn't go around. With that. Huh? Ah, oh, this is like fucked up. Like, what? What the fuck? Oh man, I'm so pissed. on my side. This ought to get me to the seventh floor. Well, this sucks. Speed run, speed run. What the hell is going on here? Fourth floor again? Rubber banding. Oh, I swear to God. Bella, you 
are completely safe here. Nothing can hurt you. Okay, let's continue. The situation there was much worse than expected. She much wants to be slave to the... I knew I had to get in touch the with the Foundation. Uh, I managed to find a phone, and I called her back up. <laughs> no, I don't think so. This is Sparrow, 09868, for Bald Eagle. I'm at Pony Station on the seventh floor. The situation here is much worse than expected. I need backup. Bella, are you sure this is actually what happened? What do you mean? Yes, of course I'm sure. Come on, Bella. Try and focus. What are you talking about? Bella. You never made that phone call. I... of course I... What? I... Pony Station was completely cut off. What? There was no contact with the outside world whatsoever. A phone call? That would have been impossible. No, I... but... I saw... What did you see, Bella? Tell us what you saw. What did you see? What did you see? wise to run. Okay, I won't sprint. But I just walk. No, I have to go to the door. I I saw it on the on the video that I have to go to the door. die <laughs> look look at this back up all right you uh pony outside blah 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 monster scary ah what is that so apparently, this person doesn't make it on the first try. No. Yeah, they sprinted the whole time. I sprinted too. What is it? Why 
Alright, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna run by the mannequin. I'm gonna try. Don't touch the mannequin! the floor? Wait, let me read the YouTube comments. Hold on. Uh... Nothing about that fucking part. God damn it. Alright, uh... This is, like, so unfair! Like, what the fuck? How? How? I did that. I swear to you, I don't know how the fuck I did that shit. I have no fucking clue whatsoever. I even like, I even like stalled. Did you see that? Like I went really slow. How does that make any fucking sense? No, that actually pisses me off! <laughs> it was not a fucking skill issue! What the fuck? Ugh. Enough racist first <laughs> Okay, okay. Okay. Good night. We're evacuating. Damn it. After the show, everyone went crazy. Some hacked themselves. Some killed each other like beasts. This was all destined to happen when it brought in that script. Everything that happened here is all Cooper's fault. It's their fault! This will be the last recording from the experiment. The hydropower plant will shut down forever. And no doubt my experiment will also... What's going on? What's going on? Ah! Uh-oh. He's late. Multi-object project, including SCP Brit and SCP Brit and SCP Brit. The experiment primarily focused on researching. The project lasted a duration of five days. In the first three days, two Rorschach, Rorschach tests were conducted. Every time I see the word Rorschach, I think of Watchmen. Uh, hypnosis experiment. Within a short period of time, da 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 da, Rorschach shush last. By the fifth. <clears throat> uh. 
electricity needed. I don't have that. Is that a fucking turntable? <laughs> what the fuck is that doing there? Oh shit. A DJ boy, baby. We're evacuating. Damn it. After the show, everyone went crazy. Some hacked themselves. Some killed each other like beasts. Like beasts. The of a white monster. This was all destined to happen when it brought in that script. Everything that happened here is all Cooper's fault. It's their fault. This will be the last recording from the experiment. The hydropower plant will shut down forever. And no doubt my experiment will also. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, scripts have been out for a week now, and the participants have had minor rehearsals as described, but one thing continues to baffle me. They always seem to recite the wrong lines. Every single person, it's strange, almost like it's orchestrated. And when I try to collect them, they become defensive, insisting that they read the correct line. But other than that, the minor hiccup with everything else went well. I'm very much looking forward to the first full rehearsal in Room 705 the day after next. After the full rehearsal, all will bear witness to the potential of SCP-701 and my name will become synonymous with it. Tyler Cooper, the genius behind the experiment who managed to tap its endless potential. This is history in the making. The Sounds like a freak to me. Play? What is up with this SCP-701 experiment? What the fuck? Oh my god. Scary, scary. I am scared. I am scary, 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 scared. FBI, open up. I will never open the door for you. Mother fucker. On April 27th, local time, five students were involved in a collective blah blah, blah incident at the Cleveland Institute of Arts Drama Club in Ohio. Another faculty member died of stab wounds. A janitor was taken into custody as a suspect in the incident. The statement mentioned that four students used a blah blah blah, blah from the ceiling during rehearsals, and this was then repeated by the last remaining person after they assaulted the teacher. The teacher died two hours later. Following a forensic investigation of the scene. Wow. Sounds horrifying. Nothing? Nothing here? Oh, operate. Oh! Am I locked in now? To all personnel, in order to prevent the dissemination of classified information, all video surveillance equipment has been removed and all external signals transmissions have accordingly been blocked. The site will be kept under closed loop management procedures until the conclusion of the research experiment. At present, the experiment is still in need of more participants. All willing participants can find Miss Irene Mabel in the archives room on the fourth floor to fill in the necessary paperwork. Let's see. It's time to die. Oh my god! I, I love those! I love those rolls. They're, those rolls are so yummy. I love those rolls. Mm. They're so good. You ate them for Christmas. 
Yeah. Ooh, with champagne. Uh, they're gone. Nani? Ah! <laughs> shit out of me, motherfucker. Guys, they're gone. Where did they, like, go? They're, like, totally, like, gone. Are you blind when you're born? Can you see in the dark? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have opened that all the way. Maybe that was a mistake. My lady? My lady? Hey! Are you grabbing my ass? Holy shit! Damn, work it, girl! Holy shit, that was the best death drop I've ever seen. Oh shit, everybody get to work. Oh my god. Uh... Uh... Oh god, they're dropping like flies. Oh yeah, let the bodies hit the floor. 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 Let the hit the floor. Somebody use the turntable. Oh, there's a security card. Give it to me. Hello? Guys, come on, guys. Bro, I'm, I'm not playing around here. Oh, God. C come on, guys. So rude. Did they get back up? Oh my god, they all died of cringe. Why does it look like they're all going to the same place? Oh shit, did you see that one? I saw it. Oh look, there's more up there. Quite the 
the production quite the spread. Wow, this ain't no high school theater art department budget at all. You really see uh the budget this department really had with this freaking the black box. Wow. Black box with important data inside. Encrypted by technology department to be decrypted in the other sites. Hear ye, hear ye. Once upon a time. I pushed my penis in and it never came out. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was my play, did you like it? What the fuck is that? A well-constructed handmade doll? With the tag SCP-049? Why is it so cute? Ah! Dear God, Jonathan, what the fuck? Power Generator Center. Generation Center? Power, ge power Generation Center? The fuck? Well, I really hope we don't have to get chased by that fucker again. Oh! Scared me. Bella, we really need you to tell us the truth here. What do you mean? I'm telling you the truth. I completed my task. I retrieved the black box from Pony Station. Looks like the cognito hazards really did a number on her. What are you talking about? I'm fine. Bella, there was no black box in sight uh -oh. when we found you. That's impossible. I'm positive. I, I know I had it in the escape elevator. And there is no escape elevator in Pony Station. None of what you're saying adds up. <laughs> That's impossible. Joshua, the it's gentle. just Thank impossible. A prayer to Look at me, Bella. <laughs> Try and focus. What really happened? What? Really? Remember, damn it! Remember! Bella, think carefully. I. 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 Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Uh oh. Uh. Oh shit. I guess uh, I never got on the elevator? There wasn't any elevator to begin with? Did 
Los maniquís no están aquí. Los maniquís no están aquí. No hay maniquí aquí. Shit. I'm looking at the video. Fuck this. I don't give a fuck. I want to know where I'm going to run to. like this. This is so fucked up. on the floor so I have to die <laughs> more than once because we all know I ain't gonna live that long Oh my god, you guys! You guys, I almost did it too! 
Oh my god, I'm so stupid, guys. I'm sorry. I almost had it, too. What the- will have to be locked down. That much is for certain. I fucking hate that monster, bro. Fuck that shit. What was the, pa the paper that I got? Was it... Wasn't this one? I don't even know what paper I took- I picked up at the end. Was it a research log? Oh, it was probably this. No, it wasn't. Probably scripts. The rehearsals have officially begun. Uh, my hands are shaking as I write. Although some sections stray from the original, everyone remained perfectly in character, wholly consumed in the act. The audience too. Wow. Cool, guys. Hang the traitors. I think it slows down if you slow down. Is that true? So SCP-701 is a script. One performance and now all of Pony Station is ruined. Dr. Cooper, what have you done? Dr. Cooper, what have you done? Is there another special secret? I love special secrets! What the fuck? Oh, the fighting. No fighting, guys. Stop. Stop it. It's those mannequins again. Where are they headed? Your mom's house. But where have all those volunteers gone? Okay. Hello? Oh god, here we go. Oh 
god, here we go. Oh no. I serve my Who's there? My Virginia? Is that you? Oh no! He's gonna kill him! Kill him! Sacrifice his head and seek redemption with his blood! Kill him! Kill him! A despicable usurper has got to have a glorious crown! Oh no! It's the goddamn cognito hazard again. I need to leave right now. Um. With this, this our blood, blood, blood is in the <laughs> serve my king with my blood I serve my king with my blood I serve my king with my blood I serve my king with my blood 
I serve my king. With my blood, I serve my king. Her condition is unstable. I've just injected her with a sedative, but you need to let her rest for a while. Thanks, Doctor. Well, let's go then. What? We haven't found the black box yet. You still don't get it, do you? Get what? What do you mean? A black box is merely a vehicle for recording the truth. <gasps> but a black box isn't always a black box. She what was a mean? black box all That's along! Right. She is now the black box. <gasps> Got time for a cold one? Because our work here is done. What's gonna happen to her now? I serve my king with my blood. Blissful suffocation. Sacrifice of sin. The black box has been properly contained at Site 105 and pending further investigation. Oh my Above God. is the full record of the inquiry. Holy shit. to record all these things? Oh, all in a day's work, all in a day's work. I'll submit my report. I'm a great employee. I was a bit confused. Smooth sailing all throughout. Now I can handle these archives with ease. I'm a confident employee. You are no worse than I expected. How about a taco night for celebration? So, are we really using a living being as a tool to contain anomalous objects? So does that mean... She, th the script lives inside of her? The script to the play? Secure, contain, protect. It is our duty to record all this truthfully and honestly so that people may remember them forever. This bitch, what is dumbass bitch read the script? What a freaking idiot. I understand. Anyway, is this guy going to be like, wubba wubba dub dub? You completed your first mission. We should celebrate. How about going for a drink? Count me in. Awesome. Let's get drunk. How about a taco night or a donut night? No. To celebrate the completion of my first archive missions, my colleagues threw a small party. It all started to grow on me. My colleagues in this place, I started to really enjoy all of it. Maybe it was all the drinking. I dreamt I was lost in a strange cave. It was dark and damp and smelled of decay. And the depths of the darkness, I saw at all times two red dots monitoring my every move. What a strange dream. Tequila is too strong of a drink. I need an espresso. Ah, yes, the real SCP. Coffee. Oh, wait! Back to work, I am. Uh, uh, uh. Entering data. 
object is a irregular clay pot with a height of 23 centimeters and a diameter of 28 centimeters. But do not be fooled by its appearance. It's an organism. A womb? Yes, an earthen womb. SCP-660 may be safely stored in a standard safe deposit box, provided its mouth remains. What? Covered with an inert press disc and sealed with a tamper-proof tape? Logs of tests involving human experimentation with SCP-660? 660A, skin flap harvested from the left thigh of the cadaver of D612. Donor was healthy in all respects prior to death. Tissue sample left in SCP's S660 for two months duration. Daily biopsies indicate vi viability of sample. Cell samples taken from this tissue graft are cultured in vitro, revealing a predisposition towards precancerous and cancerous growth. What the fuck? Ew. Earth and womb? It's an earthen ware urn? It's a womb? It's capable of indefinitely preserving all biological tissue placed within it. What the hell? Ew! The tissue sample was left for two months in duration, then grafted onto the torso of a D-class personnel with second and third degree burns. The recipient's anomaly testing record had no contraindications with SCP-660 result. Tissue graft takes without complication. Healing according to the usual steps of adherence, serum inhibition, and revascularization. However, as is common with severe burn cases, the compromised skin barrier led to infection. An eventual fatal septic shock. Ah! Post-mortem biopsy and analysis indicates skin graft would have been returned to full histological structure and function had the recipient survived. Whoa. Living member of Mus Musculus. A house mouse. Specimen left for two months duration. SCP is incapable of restoring D614's consciousness to original body after removal. A computer interface was developed to facilitate two-way communication. What the fuck? What the fuck? What a strange thing. Right arm lost in traumatic amputation. Lost limb recovered as part of cleanup operation. Subject would not have survived. What the hell? So, right arm successfully attached to previous owner? So what is this? Like a magical, a magical urn? Wow. It's been classified as safe. It's safe, I tell you, safe. They turned me into a mouse type. What's next? Addendum 143. SCP-143 is a plantation of 300 specimens of a unique type of tree. The trees are similar to appearance to Prunus X, Yedonius, Yedonius, oh, a sakura tree, or cherry blossoms. They bear no fruit, and the only known way of reproduction is by careful own root propagation using cut saplings from an older sample. And the petals are light pinkish, Color, slightly translucent, and with a texture of smooth glass. Care must be taken when handling the petals. What the fuck? Razor sharp edges and can slice through flesh? Ew! How is this safe? Watch your profanity. They refer to the original trees as Jinki no Kodachi, or the Played Wood Grove.
Jesus Christ. The trees are still in Japan, owned by the government and are tended to by the same family. Uh, addendum 1432. SCP-143 is to be watered twice every day on a regular basis? Yeah, take care of those fucking crazy blade trees. Whoa, don't stand beneath the tree, wear protective gear. If it begins to shed, however, after its shedding has concluded, the collection of fallen petals for testing purposes has been authorized. Uh, we lost three staff to 143 today. They were collecting petals dropped by the trees. When a sudden gust of wind picked up, shaking a good deal of the petals from the trees and blowing them around, stayed that windy for the whole day. Oh, no! Oh, no. Whoa, that's a crazy tree. A very hard tree. Next one. SCP-261. Maybe use a maximum of 10 times per 24-hour period with no transaction value exceeding the equivalent of 500 Japanese yen. However, in view of this necessity experiment, the foundation has proof. Wait, what the fuck is this? What is it? Is it a vending machine? Cool! It appears to be a large black vending machine with no front glass panel and a small keypad on the right side. It was recovered in Yokohama, Japan. It's a magic vending machine. Coke Zero, Cheetos, Black Black, it's caffeinated chewing gum. Yan Yan, Peach Dip, Dipping Frosting, Pepsi Dragon Twist, a can of Pepsi Cola with a trace of fruit flavor, identified as Dragon Fruit. That's like an unknown flavor. Dark Side Cola? A can with clear plastic sides packaging in Japanese liquid inside is clear. When opened, liquid appears to react to the air and changes to dark black over a period of several seconds. And the black coloration looks like billowing smoke and cannot be reversed. And the liquid's taste can be described as cola with something spicy in it. What? Spicy Coke? Mmm! Bro, what the fuck? That's cool! Little Bakery 7 Grain? A small tube the size of a candy bar with a green button made of aluminum. Packaging in English. When the top is twisted off, a massive dough is extruded. Dough contains several enzymes and bacteria that have not yet been identified. On contact with air, this causes the dough to rise and bake, killing the microbes in the process. Produces a small round loaf of bread weighing 250 grams. What? Instant baked bread out of a tube? Whoa! Lemon clams? Diet ghost? A can containing an instance of SCP-2107 packaging. Testing done on this instance provided similar results to others contained instances. It's a ghost inside of a can? Unknown. Small mesh bag filled with small multicolored pyramids. Packaging in an unknown language. Pyramids are found to be very hard and unpleasant tasting compared to chalk in taste and consistency. When placed in hot water, the pyramids open and produce strings that quickly dissolve, coloring the water and same shade as the pyramid. Water had no additional taste, but testing revealed a sharp increase in mineral carbohydrate and protein content with several minerals unidentified and present at the time. What the fuck? Aluminum box with small glass window. The box is seamless and appears to be filled with small round animals covered in fur with three small paws and a single large eye. What the fuck? Professor Kane volunteered to eat the animals with no other researchers willing to do so. Taste described as crunchy and very spicy with a small hint of beef. Ew! Wait, what the fuck? Wait a minute, hold on. There's an animal inside. You press 
the button and it gets hot and cooks the animals alive? Ew! Ew! And then the box opens and it gives you the cooked animals! Fault in aluminum can packaging, unknown language. Uh, can cause a chemical reaction with the liquid inside the can. Liquid was apparently not intended for oxygenated atmosphere and detonated violently, causing injury. Jesus Christ. Jesus, what a crazy vending machine. Oh, looks like I'm done for the day. Zoe, it's five minutes to four o'clock. Just about ready. You're not coming? No. Nah. Guys, are you forgetting something? Someone? Me! Hi, Carl. They forgot about me already. They don't care about me. Monthly lecture? Each month, the foundation invites someone famous to hold a lecture. Oh. A first month lecture invited Dr. Trevor. He holds a high reputation. Interesting. Count me in. Let's go see Dr. Trevor. He's high reputation. System notice. Going to training now. Daniel and Dragon? What? Daniel and Dragon? Training is about to begin. There are many stories in this world. Some are read widely all over the world. Oh. Some are hidden in dust and known only by a handful of people. Today I'm going to tell you a story no one else has heard before. A real story of mystery and wonder and adventure. And then you too will become the guardian of this story. The story takes place in a world of long ago. The hero of our story is a little boy. His name is Daniel. Oh, Daniel. Hey. One day, out of nowhere, Daniel got a serious case of chicken pox. Oh no, I it got It made him look too. like a strawberry. To make sure he didn't spread it to others, Mrs. Page, the principal, had him isolate in an attic. What? And so, in the attic he lived, all on his own. Huh? What the fuck? Buster Daniel, while up here in this attic, you'll have plenty of time to practice your penny whistle. I hope you practice well and prepare for next month's art festival. But Mrs. Page, the melody is so difficult. Don't give up, boy. You don't give up before you fight. Oh. What? Daniel was reluctant at first, but he trusted Mrs. Page, and he knew he should listen. And so he practiced the penny whistle. Man, this game is crazy. Uh oh. Oh no. Fuck! 
Suddenly, he heard some strange noises in the corner of the attic. Huh? Who's there? Daniel decided to go over and take a look. Trap, oh, no! and there was a red origami paper dragon inside oh, of it. No! Daniel carefully removed it. It was marvelous and beautiful. The only problem was part of its wing was damaged. But Daniel found a way to repair it. To repair paper dragon. It's not letting me pick up. Oh. Here you go. Daniel held the repaired paper dragon high, high up in the air, imagining that it soared over all the Whoa. world below. Wow. He played yeah. and played with the paper dragon. Wee! Woo! Dragon! Soar! <sighs> in the warm afternoon sun, Daniel had to fight his eyelids just to keep them open. Is it? Could it be? Or is this all just a dream? The next day, with boredom and loneliness weighing him down, he began to fiddle with the old radio. Crunched up ball of paper rolled over to his feet. Where did this paper ball come from? Just as Daniel went to pick it up, the ball suddenly came to life Whoa. and it rolled away. Daniel chased after it. Come back here, stupid ball. Hey, come back, ball. Just as he was about to seize the rolling paper ball, suddenly, terrible sparks erupted from it. Ah! Before his very eyes, the paper ball began to grow bigger and bigger. At that moment, a red figure suddenly appeared. The red figure quickly subdued the paper ball and threw it into a cardboard box. Daniel studied the red figure carefully. Oh! It's the dragon! It had a sticker on its fluttering wing. Oh. It was the paper dragon! I wasn't dreaming! Thank you for saving me! 
Daniel was grateful and very happy. He walked closer to the paper dragon, but the paper dragon seemed timid Daniel's and afraid drugs. and backed away. <laughs> Just then, Daniel had an idea. Hey, yo, this kid's on drugs. <laughs> he took out his pen. Oh no, Daniel, and no! Slowly played Daniel, you don't know how to play! Daniel, no! God damn it, Daniel. No, oh, Daniel! Paper Dragon enjoyed the sound very much. I highly doubt that. He began to move along with the rhythm, flipping up and down in the air. Soon the two were playing and dancing, just like old friends. The Paper Dragon traced out a beautiful arc in the air. Communicating with Daniel in a unique way. Uh, did he just unravel the paper dragon? He just dismembered the fucking dragon. Ah! My cherished friend. Ew! After many long years, we finally meet again. What the fuck is Tell his me, voice? How has your family been? A great thank you for playing that music for me. You know how I love the beautiful rhythm of that instrument. But we ought to take precautions, as the room is not stable. Do you still remember how the room works? You're welcome to visit any time. The piece of paper then changed back into the shape of a paper dragon and flew into the cardboard box. The box closed shut, and a calm silence was restored to the attic. Daniel rushed to find a watercolor pen and marked the box with excitement in his fingertips. Here be dragons? What the fuck? Over the next few days, the paper dragon came out often to play with Daniel. During this time, Daniel introduced many of his friends to the paper dragon. That cat's name is Mrs. Carter. Ever since I secretly fed her some fish for dinner, we've been good friends. That's Duke, Mrs. Jessica's pet. He doesn't like rainy days, or Mrs. Carter. I mean, he only smokes sausages for his cake. The dog is taking a piss. The book. And now, we are friends too. My name is Daniel. What's your name? The paper dragon flapped its wings as if it didn't understand him. Since you like the sound of the penny whistle so much, why don't I just call you Penny? Penny? I'll keep practicing to That's make it sound better. Name for a dragon. Daniel and Penny then played baseball together in the attic. Let's play cat. Oh god. Holy shit, you're, you're great.
<laughs> but just as they were in the middle of enjoying themselves, a violent shaking suddenly rose from the ground. This moment, the box suddenly shot open, Whoa. and thick clouds of smoke billowed out, followed by several paper balls. Penny attacked the paper balls without a moment's hesitation, and promptly threw them back into the box. Penny then flew around in front of Daniel, and rushed right back into the box. As the box closed, the earthquake stopped. Whoa. Facing a friend's farewell without a formal goodbye, Daniel felt confused and lost. He moved the box to the center of the attic. Facing it, he practiced his penny whistle day oh, in no. and day out. Oh. Okay, I thought they were gonna make me fucking. <laughs> As the days went by, Daniel's playing became smoother. All right, hold on a second. I thought he was just in the damn attic because he had the chicken pox. It seems like he's been in there a long time. One day, the box suddenly began to move. Huh? One, Whoa! two... Four? This time there were four paper dragons. Four paper dragons! But they weren't alone. Enemies began to jump out of the box too. Uh-oh. Earthquake! Another earthquake! This time oh no, is the earthquake coming from the box? In that small attic, the four paper dragons fought fiercely against the paper balls. Looking, this time, looking balls? the paper balls use new tactics. They clump together into a single monstrous ball of paper. It began to shoot strong bursts of electric sparks at the paper dragons as they flew through the air. As they were hit, the paper dragons fell from the air, one after the other. Seeing the injured paper dragons, Daniel felt very distressed. Oh no, and Daniel! Just then, one of the paper dragons painfully started to fly and gathered the remainder of its power. The paper dragon transformed into a great beam of light and dove straight down to pierce through the monstrous paper ball. And then came Holy another shit. paper dragon. The monstrous paper ball was blasted to bits, exploding into smaller paper balls. Trembling, they struggled to escape back into the box. The sacrificed paper dragons were reduced to swirling shreds of paper. What? And a silence pervaded. What? Peace and tranquility were restored once again to the attic. Daniel saw the remaining two paper dragons lying on the floor, badly wounded. Oh no! He rushed to grab some stickers and treated them at once. Oh god, I have to treat these dragons! Holy shit! Oh my god, my eyes! Fuck! Suddenly, countless paper dragons began to gush from the box. Whoa. The two wounded paper dragons were repaired and began to fly. Like two How colored the threads, I... they merged with the other dragons, flying in unison. The dragons moved like a tide, 
flying freely through the attic. Daniel Don't eagerly me. took no. out his penny no. whistle. No, Daniel. He showed all his no, paper Daniel. dragon friends the Daniel, results no. of his hard work and practice. God damn it, Daniel! No one wants to hear you play your fucking penny whistle! games that isn't on like the beat <laughs> in the sweet melody of his playing Daniel felt himself enter into the world of dragons what the fuck is he in the dragon place did he die when he had the chicken plots Dragons merged into a long letter and floated down towards Daniel to tell their story. After the last war, the fantasy world enjoyed a long spell of peace and stability. But now, the giants have returned. They have launched ferocious attacks, trying to invade your world through the room. We are prepared to launch the final defense. What? Then we will have to destroy your room. Oh no, he's gonna get in trouble! the last remaining entryway into your world. Please believe this farewell will only be temporary. Uh... We will not be apart forever. You're never coming back, we aren't you? we will never forget our eternal mission of protecting you. Oh no! At that moment, the paper dragons flew back into the box. Daniel still couldn't fully understand what the paper dragons had meant, but he had a vague feeling in his heart that he may never see his new friends again. Aww. A few days later, Daniel's chicken pox had fully recovered. He could now play the penny whistle very, very well. But the paper dragons never returned. Put into bag? What the fuck? Maybe. It was time to leave and move on. Earthquake warning! Magnitude 6.2! A massive earthquake is hitting our town! All townspeople, please leave your houses immediately and move to safe open space! 
places. Just then, oh, countless shit. paper dragons shot from the cardboard box. However, it seemed like they were under attack, spinning and falling through the air in confusion. What's happening? Daniel quickly grabbed the stickers out from his bag and did his best to heal the injured paper dragons. Oh no, I gotta heal all these damn dragons! Oh no, there's there's so many of them! Oh god! Oh god, there's so many, there's so many of them! Too many dragons! There's too many fucking dragons! Ah! Oh god! There's so much pressure, their lives are in my hands! I went to MIT! together and push Daniel away, subduing him firmly in the so corner. He couldn't move. Ah! Some ominous clouds rose from the box, and a violent whoa, lightning whoa, 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 flashed whoa. through the room. The figure of a giant slowly emerged from the thick clouds, and the entire attic became overwhelmed with its evil aura. Unleashed its power maniacally. The paper dragon struggled against it, with no means of fighting back. Oh, God. At this critical moment, two paper dragons shined brilliant. Oh, no! Together, they heroically crashed their oh, bodies shit. into the giant. Daniel thought the giant had been defeated by the paper dragons, but soon he found that things would probably not be so simple. Oh no! The giant's figure could still be seen in the oh, thick smoke, no. looking Help. evil and terrible. The Help. attacks of the paper dragons had had no effect, and the giant had only grown stronger. He fought back with a new ferocity. Paper dragons were simply no match for oh, it. Help the the earthquake is going stronger still. The greatest disaster this town has seen in over 100 years. My heavens, will this nightmare ever end? Someone shut this guy up from the radio. With the paper dragons now all but defeated, Daniel spotted a frail figure in the distance. It was Penny. It flew gently in front of Daniel and affectionately rubbed its head against his fingers as if this whole crisis had never happened. Daniel felt like Penny was trying to tell him something, but he didn't quite understand what. Penny then left Daniel and soared into the air with a determination in its wings. Suddenly, the other paper dragons seemed to be summoned. They flew through the air, all together in unison, responding to the call without an ounce of hesitation. Oh no! At Did that moment, Penny turned into a great red beam and Help rushed fast me. towards the giant. The other dragons followed, shining together like a shooting star. At that moment, Daniel seemed to see a real dragon fly. No! This is all your fault, Daniel! A huge explosion from the impact drowned out everything else in the attic. The attic rained down with countless pieces of paper the leftover scraps of the paper dragons. Oh, no. Daniel wanted to collect all of the pieces. They're, he thought he could still dead. fix them. Oh no, 
you're gonna make me collect the pieces, you piece of shit game! Fuck you! Fuck you, game. Oh no, fuck. Fuck you, game! What the fuck is wrong with you? Why? Why are you such an asshole? I'm dancing in the remains of these... Of my friends! Fuck you! Pick it up. Can you imagine if the lady comes and she goes, What the fuck is this fucking mess? You piece of shit! Clean this shit up, you little shit! What if the whole house would have been destroyed and Daniel's just sitting there like, Uh... It wasn't me. I didn't do it. Oh, oh, God. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye, my friend. Over. The earthquake has stopped. With God's mercy, our town is safe. Somebody, we please. Thank you, Lord, for your protection. Please beat the shit out of that guy on the radio. Somebody go to the radio station and beat the shit out of him for me. Please, I'm begging you. A few days later, the art festival was held as scheduled. Daniel oh, attended wait, the no. show with his penny whistle. <laughs> Please don't tell me I have to do it again. Please, I'm begging you. And now, no! Daniel Trevor will perform a penny whistle oh, solo of a song titled Fly With Me. Mom, I told you I don't want to fucking play the penny whistle. This isn't my life. I want to be an accountant. <sighs> Oh, God. Mom, God. This isn't me. I want to play football and I want to study. They would forever uh, into eternity. They they did not uh fix that part properly with the music and the fucking voiceover. Holy shit! It's like what? What did you say? Hello? Wow. Uh, that was fucking sad. Thanks a lot. Dragon sword. Fuck you, Stuart. 
I love the paper dragons. I love them so much. Where are they being contained now? Me too, but what happened to those cute little ones? SCP-1762 is now being contained at Reliquary Research Institute. The card where da Dr. Daniel is supervising direct... <gasps> he grew up and became a doctor? The cardboard box has remained silent. How do you know all this? I thought you didn't attend the monthly lecture. Under the direction of Dr. Trevor, Gent spent two years researching SCP-1762, so he knows far more than we do. Wow, 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 thanks, wow. I bet if we we get told about another SCP, he's gonna know a lot about it, and I'm gonna be like, how did you know all this? Oh, well, he spent six years in Antarctica researching, blah, blah, blah. Wow. Great. Wow. I went to fucking MIT. <laughs> Hey, I told you that all particular SCP didn't sue me. Fuck off! God, I hate this guy. What a fucking nerd. But really, imagining you tidying up files and piles of cute little fairy books is kind of adorable. Enough already, I'm getting back to work. But I'm gonna stress the point again. Unusual, thank you for pre-ordering my Nendoroid. Thank you! I've been here a month now and I'm not entirely adjusted to the job. Though the content of my work is to simply process archive files, it is work that will never bore me. A few absurd jokes aside, most of the archives are really rather fascinating. I have been having hallucinations lately. I feel like someone is calling me a low voice of and uncertain. They seem to be trying to communicate with me, but I cannot understand a single word they say. In fact, I had planned on seeing a doctor, but Zoe told me it was a typical rookie syndrome and would clear up in a few days. I certainly hope that's the case. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I feel like I'm watching, like, Black Mirror. Quick explanation. Basically. The dragon came from the world of fantasy which was powered by human belief in the fantastical. Our world and theirs were connected by rooms or portals. With humans believing less and less in the fantastical over the years, the room shrinked, and became a box, and so did the representation of dragons in our world. Their world was also affected really badly so the trolls and other races rebelled against humans but the dragons were trying to protect us. Whoa. Cool! Thank you for the bellies and thank you for the explanation. <clears throat> Let's see, Yorkshire, England. SCP-300 may only be performed with prior written permission. It uh, contains approximately 2.4 cc of an unidentified colorless liquid. What? When it's viewed through a standard optical microscope, an animated scene becomes visible, while no two drops have shown precisely the same scene. What the fuck? Huh? <laughs> it's literally tea! It's like the tea in each drop. You get the tea in each drop. So, it's from Yorkshire, England, and it's in an antique glass perfume bottle. And it shows you in uh, an animated scene with each drop. These scenes generally take the form of pastoral woodland scenes. Uh... Victorian era England? Is that when they found it? Oh, that's what you look at. Oh, so when you see a drop, it looks like Victorian era England. Two to eight hours. It evaporates in two to eight hours? What the fuck? Weird. Uh, SCP-090. Artifact is to be held in a secure bunker at the facility site. 
and monitored by approved Class D personnel? What is 090? Located in a chamber at the nearby cathedral, then removed. A black cubic structure made of unknown ceramic material. Object is classified as indestructible. Each side is divided into 10,000 individual squares in arrangement similar to a Rubik's Cube. Each square has a part of a design etched into the surface, and the etchings glow white. What the fuck? Weird. What's in the document? Show it to me. Whoa. Uh, experiment 0012. Observation going well. Uh, six segments. Bloody bloody blah. Keter means hard to contain. Keter equals a black. Is it Keter or Keter? Keter? Bad time. Upgrade to Euclid status requested? Six segment alignment was recorded this morning on the local side. As a safety precaution, the site was evacuated. Two hours later, a containment breach occurred, but resulted in no lost life due to evacuation. Object was determined to predict events, not cause them. It predicts events? What is it? Kind of like a... Is it kind of like the... Uh, what the fuck? Kind of like the... Oh, it's been upgraded to Keter. It's been upgraded. Its status has been approved. Capable of causing events of its own accord. Object may be sentient. Whoa. Experiment conclusion. A co combination of different alignment patterns on its body can cause disastrous effects of differing scales. It is presumed that full completion of the item will result in a catastrophe of an unprecedented scale. Holy shit, do not, do not do this puzzle box ever in your life. Understanding memetics. Uh, a memetic disorder specifically created by foundation researchers for purpose of serving as a defense mechanism. 898? What? What is it? The meme itself is a sole carrier of a supernatural ability. If, for example... Wait. In most circumstances, the medium that spreads the meme does not contain any supernatural ability. The meme itself is a sole carrier of a supernatural ability. If, for example, a meme is written within a book. This does not mean that the book itself is a supernatural phenomenon. Only the meme within it contains supernatural elements. Memes do not have any direct physical influence on humanity, but all humans exposed to and having perceived the memetic SCP are at risk of being influenced by it. To be sure, memetic SCPs do not emanate any detectable forms of memetic rays or auras. An abnormal phenomenon will take place once a human perceives it. SCPs must be understood before they can produce an anomalous phenomena. Rick. God damn it, the memes, the memes, the memes, the memes are coming for us. An interview? Oh god, the memes, the memes are after us, guys. Fuck. Well, it's safe, class. Oh, my friends. Carl. What happened, boss? What happened? There's a temporary archive that needs to be sorted. Uh-oh. The others are in the field, so you have to take over. Temporary archive? Am I qualified? Uh-oh. This is a mission. Is an emergency, Carl. Oh, no. It's beyond your current level. Oh, no! But your recent performance has proven that you have the ability to accomplish it. You can count on me, boss. Remember, stay sane and always in awe. All right, get to it then. Yeah. Conscious intrusion operation record. 
Executor D6744 Mike Donald SCP-239 Device Applied Synapse Operation Executed March 26, 2005 on that night This report contains a large amount of content. Do you want to read further? What's SCP-239? Consciousness Intrusion Witch Plan What the fuck? Huh? Holy shit, that's- that's a lot of shit, bro. Hello? Thank you for- A bit of least. <clears throat> D6744. Please provide your identification code according to the mission letter. Four and twenty blackbirds. Uh, tell me, Doc, when was the last time this rag on my head was washed? D sixty-seven forty-four. Oh, it's six o'clock. I didn't. I didn't take my medicine, did I? Oh fuck! <laughs> oh shit! Oops. Uh, uh, um, um, <laughs> ah! I was having too much fun. Fuck, I was having too much fun, bros. Bros, I was having too much fun, bros. Way past six? Oh shit, it's almost seven. What the fuck? How did I not realize? How did I not realize such a thing? Mmm! Mmm! Ah! Blame Daniel? God damn it, Daniel! Deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA for short, is the molecule that carries the genetic information in all living organisms. In terms of structure, DNA is a polymer that's made of four subunits known simply as A, C, T, and G. Each of these subunits has three main components, a unique nitrogenous base, a phosphate group, and a sugar. Oh god. They connect together through their phosphate groups to form these long polymer chains, which are the basis of DNA. The order of the subunits is extremely important, and it's how the genetic information is stored. It gets a little more complicated though, because DNA isn't just one chain, it's actually two, and they're held together by interactions between the nitrogenous bases. Wait. This interaction is known as hydrogen I didn't take a bonding, break, I went straight through plane? Where A likes to pair with T, and C with G. This hydrogen bonding, along- <laughs> Really? Fuck. Holy shit. Did I really? Oh my god, I didn't even notice. Wait, I've been playing for four hours? Have I really been playing for four hours? What the fuck? Are you serious? Wait, I'm gonna put memes. Let's see. Hmm. If you lose it, you laugh six times. <laughs> Try not to laugh because if you laugh, you lose. Ha ha ha!
Dude, I'm thirsty, man. I'm just riding on my skates, looking at my biscuit. What a cute cat. Wish I was a cat. No schools, no works, just. If you want to play baseball, you got to be the baseball. Just let her know you're here. It's Benny! We brought someone. I'm sorry, what is this lady's name? Wait, hold on. What did they say? Did they say Fanny? I think they said Aunt Fanny. She better have a big Fanny. And why is she called Aunt Fanny? What? Hey, Goop. What's up? Cool binder. Holy shit, that is a big ass Fanny. <laughs> I'll be right back. Hold on. Oy. I want to talk about Iron Mouse. I'm kind of scared. So recently. Should I watch it? Am I allowed to watch this? Seems to be six hours. How much, how much have I completed so far? Do you know? Oh, that's some drama. No! I'm scared. I'm so scared. I had a couple fans message me and tell me that they liked how I did a rant or how I started to talk about what I'm feeling. And basically, they want me to make more of those. And immediately, I had a little bit of a discussion with myself thinking, okay, do I want to compromise my entire way of doing content? And Wait, basically what, what just start going off and ranting about drama. Immediately, I came to the conclusion that no, I don't want to do that. Drama? With that being said, while that video did make me feel pretty good, the video in question is, of course, the crony video that I made about the drama with her and oh. collaborating with Tempest. And while I did do extremely well and a lot of people <laughs> were commenting like crazy in that video, so there's a lot of interaction. Oh, I see. There was... Ah, I see. Um, guys, I just want to let you guys know, collabs are great, collabs are fun. With everyone, period. Reaction, obviously. It's not what I like to do. Immediately, I said, no, I'm not going to do things like that. But then I started to think to myself, oh, well, why not just make a positive rant? So here I am. I'm going to be talking about something that's been on my mind uh -oh. <laughs> and that I've been wanting to talk about, but I've never really had the opportunity to. There's no real organic way of bringing this up uh, without me like actually bringing it up. And so I never talked about it. So instead, what I'm going to do happening? is I'm just going to sit here. Today is a beautiful day outside. Obviously, as you guys know, I'm not outside because uh, this is my office. And uh, yeah, kind of defeats the purpose of sitting outside on a beautiful day and talking about things because that was originally what I was going to do. However, there's a lot of construction going on outside. They're putting down fiber. So there's a lot of Ooh, beeping. There's a lot of fiber. machinery. And uh, it's also windy. So it <laughs> wouldn't make for the greatest background noise. So I decided, you know what? I'm just going to film it inside. Screw it. Now, you guys probably know what the topic of today's video is. But before I get into that, of course, hey, <laughs> why don't you buy some gamer subs? Coupon code Coco. K-O-E-K. -E <laughs> emotional damage. Hashtag I'm getting all hyped up on energy. I'm just going to drink the non-caffeinated version because I think it's really tasty. Ah, the sweet taste of disappointing your parents. So what am I talking about today? Uh, I mostly am doing this completely unscripted. And I have thought about doing this for a long time, like I said. So I have a lot of things to talk about. But I don't want this to be like a long video. I just want this to be like a, to the point what I want to talk about. And what I, get up, what I want to get off my chest. What I want to. And if you guys have seen the title. 
You guys know what it is. It's Iron Mouse. What? I want to talk about Iron Mouse. No, I sat here thinking to myself, what am I going to talk about her? There's so much to talk about this, this crazy, huge content creator that uh, does many amazing things. Her resume is as long as Johnny Sin's dick. I don't <laughs> know where to even start. I'll go ahead and start off by saying this. Iron Mouse is currently the biggest inspiration I have for content creation right now. Oh and that's not anything God. new, right? Many people have been inspired by Mousy starting content, doing it, being a VTuber even. But me, that's what? not necessarily what my inspiration is. My inspiration is I look at her and I see how far she's come and how the, the, the obstacles that she's had to overcome and the challenges she currently faces even today. And she's still able to pull off such an amazing resume, right? To leave such an impact on not just the VTuber community, but like just on the world is truly inspiring and something that I push myself to either replicate one day or to even come close to. And I don't think I will ever come as close to that, of course. And Oh my god. I don't even know what to say. What the fuck? What the fuck? I don't think I should put myself uh, up there with her, but I definitely yes, have a goal, right? And every time I think to myself, oh, that goal is not possible. Oh, every time I think, oh, maybe, maybe it's, it, it'll, it can be done, but with, it's just, I don't know how or anything like that. I just basically look at Mousy and it's like, hey, the, she did the same thing. She reached for the stars and pierced the freaking the, the skies. You know what I mean? And that's every time I think to myself like that, I'm like, you know what? I can do it. I can definitely set goals and reach them if I work hard and I also work smart. Now, I'm just speaking from the heart. I'm not necessarily thinking of what these words can really mean. But that's just ba basically me speaking off the top of my head, just straight up. That's just how I feel right now. So with that being said, um, why am I talking about this? Why do I, 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 I decide to talk about this stuff? Well, there's a couple things that have come up that I just, every time I see her, I just get more and more inspired. Um, and I also think, God damn it. Why, why is she so relatable and it just comes down to you know i'm puerto rican i'm boricua and so is she and uh, she does a lot of things that remind me of me and uh basically just reek of our culture and i'll go ahead and tell you some of those moments right now let's take a look at this clip okay i i've never told this story on stream before my mom is the type of person where it's like she she will not ask for help from anyone you know she does not mm -hmm. accept help she will she would rather suffer her whole life it's before true. she asked anybody for help. It's I true. didn't know that there were like bills that she was behind on and stuff like that. And uh, cause she didn't want to like worry anybody and she would try to figure it out herself because she was taking so much of her own money to pay for my, my medical stuff. I just went behind her back and I paid everything. And then I uh, bought them a trip, which they're going on. Uh, this week my parents are going on a trip the first vacation ever because they'd never go on vacation and my mom like the first thing she told me she was like i don't deserve all these nice things i don't deserve this at all i don't deserve what you're doing right now and i'm like mom don't say that now this clip is by far one of the most inspiring clips to me and it makes me want to work harder because if you guys are Puerto Rican or Boricua or even Latino uh, or Latina, whatever, you guys know but how much we care about true. our parents, right? Um, of course, there's the exceptions, but the majority, their, our parents go through, they do anything to be able to sacrifice to give us a good life, right? And when she said, my mom doesn't ask for anything, my mom doesn't, she she literally tries to do everything herself. And that not only applies to moms, but to dads too. And that yep. just made me think of my, my parents, That's you know? True. And to be able to give them what they have given you, which is security assurance uh a blanket for you to fall on uh and say it's okay there's nothing better man the fact that she was able to do that for her mom is something that i want to do i want to do that and it pushes me every day that statement 
pushes me every day. I want to do that for my parents. I want them to feel comfortable and not having have to worry. So that was beautiful. That was amazing. That's one of the things that made me really want to do this video. Let's take a look at another thing. Hmm? One day I was started feeling really sick and it was getting really bad and uh, it, it was worse each time. And my doctor's like, I think you have a problem. I, you know, because of my, my immune problem, like I get sick a lot, but mm. I started getting like weird, like even worse weird sick than normal and they were like okay there's something extra going on and then they found out that i had that and they were like oh well this happens to your kind <laughs> <laughs> i will always have like a, a cough i'll always have a cough uh, i'm on a lot of like meds right now and a lot of like breathing meds that help but uh i'll always oh, have god. a cough and my cough oh my god you can hear my oxygen so loud gross Oh my god, I use a noise gate now, so you can't really hear it, but... <laughs> I'm like really weird and like as if I have like bronchitis. Yeah, that's normal. So this clip, she has complications, health complications that oh, she has to live god. with for the rest of her life. And uh, she's definitely not your normal person when it comes to like... Like my, myself, for example, I can breathe fine. I don't have to worry about immune problems and I don't have to worry about complications that can derive from that problem right because that can lead it to other things and that can lead to other things and she has to essentially try to quench the wrath of this disease i have cvid it's a medical condition it's a genetic immune disease my body doesn't make antibodies uh to fight off infections or viruses so uh i have to get donated plasma from other humans uh every week to help please donate plasma if you can and two things came from this right one being able to donate to her cause right being able to donate plasma is a great pleasure that i, I don't think i felt in a long time oh, yeah. um i know that the way that came about me donating was very sudden i was doing a you laugh you lose and uh it was mousy's clip and it wasn't necessarily mousy that was making me laugh it was the clip that was making the clip she was watching so we on a technicality we thought you know what that doesn't count but what i will do because it was like, I think it was a you laugh, you simp, meaning that I would give her money. But you know what I'll, I'll do instead? I'll give plasma. So I did that. I went and I gave plasma. I did not know that you get paid for getting giving plasma. Yeah. That was kind of cool. I got like 120 bucks. That Let's was nice. Go. You know, when they, you, you have to sit in a room full of people um, laying down, watching TV or your phone for like an hour while they, they basically take the blood out of you and then they separate it in a machine and then put it back into you. Uh, right. And then that whole hour that I was doing that, was I was just thinking about like, holy shit, she has to go through something like this every single week. <laughs> holy shit. And I started to think more and more about what she does versus what she has to go through. Once again, I'll say I, I, I sound like a broken record. It inspires me. I think there's an old saying in Puerto Rico. We have a lot of different sayings, by the way. I could go through a, a grocery list, like long ass grocery list for a family of 30 of different sayings we have in Puerto Rico. Right. But it reminded me of one. Right. And it goes a little something like this. I don't I think it's it goes, aunque estoy jodido. Siempre yo lo sigo. And what that essentially means, roughly translating it, it's like, even though I'm messed up, I will s always follow through and trudge through it. My dad, my dad used to say that to me. Basically saying, hey, I'm going through a lot, but that doesn't matter because I'm still going to be here and make true. content, make people laugh and entertain people. And that really is just beauty in a nutshell. And I, I love that. I say this about a lot of people, but Mousy truly, truly from the bottom of my heart 
deserves everything that she has gotten. She deserves to be as successful as ever. She truly, truly deserves everything that has come her way. I'm glad that she is getting the help that she needs with her condition. I'm glad that everyone watches her and is entertained by her. I'm glad that the people that know her can confide in her and can find her to be like a great friend. Now, I may sound like a complete simp, Okay. To be honest, I'm not. It's not actually too far <laughs> off. To be honest with you, all I need to do is drop this this video in a donation, and you can consider me that. But primarily, why I made this video is just you know I don't know. I I enjoy I enjoy talking and like letting things off my chest. And this there's no real objective to this video, other than to me talk to the camera and kind of like I don't know things that have been on my mind and to be able to actually. I don't know. That's all I wanted to say. I appreciate you guys clicking on the video and listening. I don't know how many people are going to watch this, but it doesn't really matter. And if for some weird reason, Iron Mouse watches this on the off chance, right? Thank you for being in this space. And thank I'm you for inspiring it, me and others. Thank you for making this video. I'm sorry I watched the video on stream. I'm so sorry I watched the video. Oh, God. Thank you. You're so kind. Oh gosh, you made me. You made me laugh. Oh, not laugh. You made me cry. No, I laughed because I'm crying. Oh god. Yeah, you made me laugh and you made me cry. God oh, damn it. Thank, thank you very much. That was so sweet. Oh man. <sighs> oh. <clears throat> I'm alive, sorry. How am I 
much of, how much of the game do we have left? Holy poly, thank you for the 20 gifted subs. Yeah, I'm alright. I just had to blow my nose. That was very sweet. Thank you, Cole. You're, you're wonderful. Thank you. One to two hours? According to the 7th edition of the Security Regulation Amendment Oh my god, I'm too big Whoa, someone thank you for programming by the droid You must first provide your identification code. Otherwise, you will be executed. All right, all right. Four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie. You're a real fan of these formalities. Everything's got to be right by the book with you. Oh, God! Fuck! Mike Donald, consciousness intrusion expert. Former leader of MTF UP2. Codename Spider. Now, level D personnel. Number 6744. Enough of these damn formalities. Just what the hell you want me to do? D6744, do you know about the witch plan? Witch? I've heard the name, that's all. The plan is oh. under the direct command of O5. Every last it's detail of the plan is protected by the strictest button. confidential Best terms. Decision I've even so made. what? D6744. What you're Thank about you. to witness Thank you is for the top secret Thank you for information me. of the Foundation. Holy shit, what the fuck? What the hell is going on? A few hours ago, something went wrong with the Witch Plan experiment. The energy of the human anomaly, SCP-239, is out of control and has begun diffusing outward, disintegrating everything it touches. You guys seriously never cease to amaze me. SCP-239 is now a ticking time bomb. She could go off at any moment. D-6744, I need you to enter the consciousness of SCP-239 to stop this bomb from exploding. The neural key is fully charged and ready to uh, enter up, the target Wait, consciousness space. To... Begin the program. Consciousness uh, begins to link. Uh, D-6744, we don't it, have much time left. Three, fuck, fuck, wait, two, wait, wait. She killed a cock? What? Something rubbing? D-6744, can you hear me? Son of a bitch! Fuck you! The situation is urgent. If you were still the way you used to be, you would have done the same. Okay, it Oh, hello there?
Uh, hey, wait! D-6744, what did you see? A little girl, but she ran away when she saw me. That little girl is SCP-239. What else have you discovered? The girl's consciousness is severely damaged. That probably explains her total loss of energy control. Then how should we proceed? Thank you for burning my nendroid, Dr. Z. What the fuck? Dan or preconscious. If there's a solution to this, it's gonna be in there. Good. D6744. You really are the right person for this mission. D6744, I must remind you, SCP-239 is no ordinary girl. She is uniquely dangerous. Do not forget. Yeah, I got it. I'm dangerous too, don't forget. <laughs> Dangerous too, don't forget. How is she dangerous? What does she do? Time block. Sama bird. Movie. Snake. Cry. Turkey. Eagle. Sixteen. Eternal blast. Science. Zeus. Rainstorm. Whisper. Butterfly. Gardens. Activate wings, pet, passion, French, resin, aurora, red, sleep, what? stone, green, touch, move, anxiety, close, pain, lust, ladybug, time, clock, summer, birth, movie, snake, cry, turkey, eagle, sixteen, Eternal blood, science, Zeus, rainstorm, whisper, butterfly, garden, activate, wings, pet, passion, French, resin, aurora, red. <laughs>
thought I'd never get out of there. Huh? Ink all fragments in correct order? We are now conducting ability control test number 125 of SCP-239. Okay, let us begin. First, set voltage strength to 30 kilovolts. Power on. What? SCP-239, move the target object to the designated location. The voltage intensity must be insufficient. I'll need a new test site along oh my with God, new equipment that can handle acting? a greater voltage load. Calling D-6744. Do you copy? Copy. The energy of SCP-239 is still diffusing outward. What's your situation? The situation's more complicated than I thought. I'm gonna need more time. Be quick about it. I got it! Quit rushing me! It's not just a rumor. Today's morning session was chaired by Dr. Pierce. Ooh, I walked it's right true. past you. Trust me. If I'm being honest, I don't really like Dr. Pierce. Something about him, you know, just gives me the creep. <coughs> He's coming. Stop. He's coming. Stop. Personal transfer? Oh god, here we go again. Oh Jesus. Jesus! How are the preparations for the experiment coming along? Equipment's been checked. Everything is ready. Good. Anything Her to powers be aware of? are Bethesda programming. Mm. After yesterday's experiment. 
Give him an injection of amnestic agent. Let Arthur take his place. Group photo of Team Black Honey Badger. Sean! Jason! Jason! Hello? Another turntable, man. These DJs really love their tunes. Fail, 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 fail succeed. Set voltage strength to 250 kilovolts. Dr. Pierce, the heart rate of SCP-239 has now exceeded 160. Her physiological indicators are quickly approaching their limit. Perhaps a we should car? consider pausing for a while. Continue. Are they Press asking her to move a fucking car? Set to 250 car? kilovolts. Go. Now. SCP-239, pay close attention to my instructions. Crush that car in front of you. What's the meaning of this? Sean Pierce. Why that? Long time, Sean. What's it been? Seven years? I've got no time to play catch up with you. Not a great first impression you're leaving either. Barging into my lab and interfering with my experiments. According to Foundation security regulations, I could have you detained, you know. <laughs> Still the same old temper. You haven't changed one bit. I just so. had one last well, payment. If left. you want to talk business, then let's talk business. You should have a look at this first. This is. This is... No. 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 This is O5's mandate. Effective immediately. Witch plan and all SCP-239 experiments will be led by me. No. That's... No! Oh no! This is a mistake! He took his job! It's not possible! Don't take it personal, Sean. The simple fact is that the development of SCP-239 is moving too slow. They want a more ambitious approach. A new process, if you will. A new process? What new process? Just what do you know about process? Please, Violet, enlighten me. Sean, let us end our bickering with this. Victory comes to those who fight, and to those who last. More like SPD, am I right, bros? What's this? It's like one of my favorite Power Rangers seasons. Bird's Nest, do you copy? Copy, loud and clear. Just what exactly is Witch Plan? That's not your concern. Focus on the mission at hand. 
Stop the spread of energy diffusion released by SCP-239, and do it quick. Yeah, sure. Oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa! These edibles ain't shit! intersect in fragments may only be linked once. Tattoo. The storybooks and toys we ordered have arrived at C3 Warehouse. Good. I'm smart. How's the containment room remodeling coming along? The bed and daily necessities are all in place. The demolition of the ARB potential development plan will be completed next. Oh. <laughs> good and good. Now, how about the formal meeting with our little princess? Yo, she's just nodding everywhere. I think she's evil, guys. I should really read these, but I'm not. I got shit to do, guys. What the fuck? Is that a room? That's so sad. Among us -y? Dear God. That's it. There's no saving you. You're corrupt now. Item number, object class, uh-oh. My friend! Hello there. Uh, hold on a second. I'm not going to hurt you. God damn it. Monsters. Monsters. Scared. Scared. When you feel scared, just close your eyes. Imagine something beautiful, and those terrible things will disappear. Oh my god, you fucking bitch. Fuck you. Who? Who are you? My name is Violet Tattoo. You can just call me Violet. Violet Tattoo. I will Tattoo. take care of you from now on. No one will hurt you ever again. <laughs> All right. That's it for today's bedtime story. We'll have a little test tomorrow. You need your rest. I'm afraid. S sleep. Nightmares. SCP-239, are you afraid of having nightmares again? They yes. couldn't even give her a fucking name. I'm afraid. Just remember what I told you. When you feel scared, just close your eyes. 
Imagine your little friends in the stories so all running out of their books to come play with you. Then you won't be afraid. Get some sleep now. Remember to imagine those beautiful images. to be adjusted? Uh, oops. What the fuck? What is this? This is sick! Robin needs an elephant. This sister house should have very strong floors. Strong enough to support my weight. The robin shakes his head. The cheetah stops its hunting. It pulls back and whispers. There should be beautiful spotted curtains to block out the harsh sun. The robin shakes its head again. This is terrifying, what the fuck? The giraffes speak from way up high. The house should have a high Christmas roof trees. and place should hang from the ceiling. The robin flaps its wings and flies away. <laughs> the hippos let out a loud yawn. The house should be built in a pool, so we can bathe anytime or sleep anytime. The robin shakes off the water droplets and flies away. What the fuck is this? shakes its head and flies away. I'm waiting for it the problem. Flies, of and flies and finally it lands on the back of a rhinoceros. The rhinoceros says, Everyone travels with all sorts of strange questions inside, but after traveling far and long enough, the answer that everyone finds, 
is that the truth is not far, or it lays within our very hearts. Robin, what kind of home do you want? The Robin says, the home I want is... Hold on. SCP-239, what are you doing? What's going on here? What's happening? SCP-239, we have to work and rest according to plan. But I... Alex, clear up the mess. At once, Director. SCP-239, this is all for your own good. You must be obedient and complete tomorrow's test. After that, I'll give you a gift. A gift? All right. A Back gift? Back to now, SCP-239. <laughs> Steps are like. Destroy them. Did she make all of this? What the fuck? Deformed birds? What the fuck? Oh, uh, I'm guessing this isn't where I have to go. Oh, I see now. Here. You there? D6744 calling Bird's Nest. D6744 calling Bird's uh -oh. Nest. What the hell are these guys up to? It's too late. Whoa. Director Tattoo. The experimental site has been fully prepared. The report may begin at any time. Excellent. If today's experiment goes smoothly, I will have full control over which plan. Go, check again to be sure that everything is in place. There can be no omissions. At once, Director. Hey! Violet! Violet! You can see I'm very busy at the moment. 
will be presenting Witchplan's progress to the O5 Council shortly. Right, yes, that's just it. Listen, SCP-239's abilities are greater than you could ever imagine. She is infinitely more powerful now than when she was born. Your experimental procedures lack the proper controls. Any mistake, no matter how minuscule, could have irreversible consequences. Dr. Pierce, let us not forget that it was your previous missteps that caused us to miss the ideal incubation period for SCP-239. If we don't cultivate her using my method, the window of opportunity will be closed for good. What the fuck? But listen, if you go about it using your method, you will repeat the accident that happened seven years ago. You do remember, don't you? Heisenberg, Freeman, Claire? Enough, Heisenberg! Sean. Don't you dare bring up their names. Sean, the progress of civilization has always come with sacrifices. You don't get one without the other. To have the chance to harness the abilities of SCP-239, no price is too great. Violet, you are playing with fire. Dr. Pierce, it's time. I suggest you go to the first floor to get front row seats to civilization's next leap of progress. Oh god, I don't like this one. Violet! Woman. Listen to me! Violet! Convert pure water into wine? Resurrect birds that have been dead? Is she Jesus? What? I am Violetta Two, and this is the media test part one. SCP-239. Do you remember our friend here? The little rock with the pretty shadow. Can you make it come out and play with us? Motherfucker. No. No. Then take the goddamn tree for me. Everyone, no need to panic. This is all standard. SCP-239 will have a slight effect on the current when using her abilities. It's perfectly normal. Uh-oh. Very well done, SCP-239. Thank you. 
that's an order. Stop now. God damn it! Why won't it open? Sean? Sean! Sean! The backup door outside! Help me open it! Come on, quick! Violet, I told you you were uh -uh. playing with fire. Cut the bullshit and let me out. She's lost her mind. What are you doing? Open it! Open the damn thing! No. No, Violet. I can't. What? What do you mean? SCP-239 is out of control. Why would I open the gate? What the fuck are you saying? Open it! You're right, Violet. Damn! Victory comes to those who fight, and to those who last. Oh my god! You're crazy, Sean! This is not that! Open the fucking thing! An accident of this magnitude! It's just what I need to prove myself. What? Sean! Sean, don't think like that! We can work together! We'll do it your way! Your rules, your method! Whatever you want! Uh, we'll do... I know! It was at this print. moment that he knew. Damn. He fucked up. Is all yours? I will use these learnings to improve the plan and equipment. I've never been so certain of success. Holy no, shit, no. Rip! Let's not think like that. Let's talk things through. You have proven rip, it Rip, idiot. Damn. You will not die in vain. So this is the witch plan, huh? Are we anything more than tools to you? It's not about that. This is about saving the world. Either you fix this, or we're all screwed. That's what I'm doing. Then move your ass and do it already. <laughs> then move your ass. Yeah, suck my nuts. Suck Quitting my the foundation dick. was the best damn decision of my life. Oh shit, he quit? Oh god, he's never getting out of this alive, is he? No one just quits the foundation, guys. Fuck. Uh. Um. Fragments may only be linked once. Oh wait. Lines cannot intersect, but fragments may only be linked once. Link all fragments the correct order. I'm going. Uh.
I know. I know I have the link red to red and yellow to yellow. Well, my brain is like, I'm, I'm, I'm very medicated right now. <laughs> I know the cat is like, oh fuck. Hold on. Hold on. But I have to link all the fragments together, right? Or it doesn't matter. No, no, no. You don't understand. I need to do all the fragments. Not it. <laughs> Wait. Aha. I now present to you the ARB Potential Development Device 2.0. This device is capable of not only better stimulating the potential of abnormal objects, but can also automatically turn on the respective electric field control so long as the abnormal objects exceed the preset amplitude. This will ensure that Bruh. the experiment is foolproof, with zero chance of runaway. The tragedy of Directed Tau 2 cannot be repeated. We must learn from our mistakes. We must not forget the enormous power of SCP-239. And we must treat security as a top priority. Otherwise, all of this will be for nothing. Do not forget the credence we live by. A Secure, contain, protect. This we must uphold at any turn. Voting sheet. Abstain. Agree. 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 Damn. Everybody agreed except for that one guy? Oh, I got all the papers! Sorry. I'm sorry. Hi, hello. It's okay. I just want to talk. No. Do you? Stay away! What happened? It's not your fault. Oh, shit.
put her on top of this big ass thing? Poor girl. No way. A few moments later. Oh no, I'm being chased again. Just hold on. Again, a job well done. The synapse is now ready to what? get disconnected. Can you just hold the fuck on and listen for a damn change? What's the matter? The problem hasn't yet been solved. She's still lost deep in her mental anguish. That's not our concern. The crisis has been averted. Innumerable lives have been saved. Your mission is complete. My mission's not complete until she is stable. Compassion in times of desperation leads only to the destruction of yourself. Three minutes. You owe me that much. For all this, you owe me. I can enter her subconscious and fix this. Three minutes. Very well. I'll disconnect the synapse in three minutes. If you're not back, then so be it. I will show no compassion.
amniotic fluid has broken. Send to delivery room two. Did I go the wrong way? <laughs> I think I did. God, hold on. Oh my God, is the red fine? Because it won't let me reset the red one. Oh, there it is. Never mind. Profuse bleeding. Send to operating room now. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I feel like I'm in a freaking haunted house. Value fluctuation increasing. I feel like I'm in a. What the fuck is that? Heart rate 100. Blood pressure. Am I in a haunted house? a motherfucking haunted house. Oh no, there's a blue one now? Uh... Wait. Congratulations. A lovely princess with beautiful blue eyes. Have you thought of a good name for her? She is my little angel. I am Sukuna. Target SCP-239 has been contained. What? What name is that? SCP-239! SCP-239! SCP-239 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 That's an order! SCP-239 That's an order! SCP-239 Do He's as gonna I say! He's gonna say her name, isn't he? SCP-239 Do as I say! I Come Aww. on! Do I it! Can't. Come on! Do it! No! No! SCP-239 No! SCP-239 no. SCP-239! No, no, no! Don't blame yourself. None of this is your fault. Maybe you weren't meant for this world. What the fuck? Why would you say that to her? Close eyes. Imagine. 
You weren't meant for this world. What the fuck? That's messed Beautiful. up. Images. Oh, and Robin Ooh. says, the home I want, my home is squishy all over. Christmas! With shiny Christmas! warm lights and no more cold steel. Filled all the way with beautiful star stickers. And colorful lights everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, I everywhere I go, Christmas. they twinkle, twinkle like little eyes. So many good books. With the cutest animals inside. They only say nice things to me. They always want to chat with me. So many beautiful decorations. A soft bed, mountains of toys. I can play all day, anywhere I want. I'll have my favorite toy. A beautiful carousel. I'll ride and ride, and it will take me anywhere. There. I will not be yelled at. I will not Aww. be punished. I can sing as much as I like. I hope... I hope... I hope so much to live here forever. My home. Saguros is home. Just some minor side effects from the Force disconnection. She's not coming back. What? In the end, she chose to shut off her subconscious. She'll sleep forever, like a plant. Maybe that's for the best. Anyways, our primary concern is the incident report. It'll require some brainstorming. Not my concern. I'll arrange for someone to take you back. See you on the next mission. Hmm. <laughs> not in this lifetime. Quit, baby. Hey. Uh oh. What? What? What did that mean? The thing moved. She's inside of his mind, isn't she? Well. Oh, Seguro. She was eight years old? Oh my god. Well done, young man. I know I'm good, boss. No. <laughs> Thank you, Director. With reality distorting anomaly classified, it would seem to be keeping the subject in a state of comastose is the only viable solution. You're right, this place is not what I thought it was. I'm still learning to understand and abide by the rules. When I handed this task to you, I was frankly rather worried about whether or not you'd be able to complete it. it seems you're ready. What do you mean? Carl, someone wants to talk to you. Oh, no. Hello, Carl. Oh, uh, who are you? Roro. It doesn't matter who I am. What matters is who are you? Carl? It's just a name, a symbol. Oh, no. Who am I? I'm the one who will guide you to the answers. What should I do? First, you will need to complete some warm-up exercise. Take the elevator to the 15th floor. Oh, dear God. Sweet Jesus. Go to the elevator. Take the elevator. Everything's closed like... Like a... Oh, God. Everything is closed like McDonald's. It's time. My 
My destiny awaits. Enter room and wait for work notification. Is this my new room? Cool! Carl, you'll have to follow my instructions. Do exactly as I say. There is an access card on the desk. Take it and exit through the door on the other side. The passcode is 0426. Find room B426 and run the program on the computer. Okay. So I gotta... Find the permission card? Multi-green toast. Wow, a bread ad. Don't bake bread in the lounge. Don't you feel nausea yet? What the fuck? 0426. Find permission card? Where is permission card? B426 B Hey, can I open the other doors? Uh, just kidding, never mind. CP now. SCP-426? All non-level D staff covered in this manual have had their identities obscured. The events recorded in this manual can be accessed via the digital library. Level 3 authorization required. Use this manual as covered. Use of this manual is covered by the confidentiality clause. Any staff found in breach of the clause will be subject to immediate demotion. Confirm? Confirm. Fuck. Huh? Named Jason Grias is a 28 year old black male in good health with no history of mental illness. He was sentenced to life imprisonment for murder. What? Nicknamed Chimoni. His psychological condition was normal. Before he entered... He looks like a Minecraft character. <laughs> Minecraft. 
Uh, however, he developed negative and pessimistic tendencies while in prison, along with severe symptoms of nicotine addiction. Physical examination records show D81 did not acquire any physical disabilities. What the frick? It was Hero Brian all along. Jaded, skeptical, and exhausted, life and living are tough. When being awake and sleep are no longer regular, only the number of cigarettes left. What? Oh, cool. What the heck? What the fuck? Yo, what the hell? I didn't even provide a mirror, but I don't need to see my face. Got the cigarette pack. One small single bed. But cozier than in jail. At least you're still alive. That's right, men. I've been paying attention, you know. I can feel your life energy. What the fuck? How, why would you say that to me? What? No, not just yours, but all lives. The transitions that happen. Making the most of life transitions is a beautiful thing. And they exist in abundance here. What the fuck? What the fuck are you talking about? They always lead to the unknown opportunities where everything is uncertain. I can see the man-made chaos. Distorted by another force that can't be called life. Anyways, at least you're still alive. Yeah, what a great ending. Dude, he talked to me the whole time I was taking a shit. D81, time for your task. Let me finish this cigarette. Come on, give me a break. I always follow orders, don't I? I can't even smoke anymore. Hurry up. Damn it. Out of my face. Don't hang around here. Hey, Chimney, one cigarette, and I'll tell you about the past today. Good deal, right? Save it then. Come on, we should be helping each other out. Are you fucking playing with me? What's the point of knowing? I still have to do it. Come on, man, don't be stingy. Never run out of cigarettes. You're Andy, right? Yes, I'm Andy. Andy, you sure the there's tunnel behind that poster? Right in front of the guard? You're kidding me, it's a steel wall. Come on, just one cigarette. I have important information about the past. I don't believe you. Fuck off. Stay away from me, man. What are you doing? I have no idea, but obviously we need a glass of lemonade. Is that a P reference? Lemonade? Lemonade, sweet but sour, quenches your thirst and clears your mind. Everyone needs a glass of lemonade, whatever the season. Are you cutting your arm with that knife? What the fuck? Forget about that, I'm talking about lemonade. Do you like lemonade? Yeah, lemonade, sure, but you're gonna need treatment for that arm. It doesn't matter. Lemonade. We need more lemonade. He's out of his mind. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, this game is crazy. You're ready. Oh, I get it. Security check. What can you detect in this thing anyway? No weapons, no metal, no smoking in the observation room. No smoking? You have something against me, huh? Shows hands. Bottom floor, your task is to enter. 
enter the room and observe the object on the table. Come back and report your findings once you've completed the observation. Do you understand? Foundation's full of fucking freaks. Oh my god, I thought this was the end of the game, but I was wrong. It keeps going. I'll never get used to this. We can't make this something less gross. Oh god, what time is it? Oh god, it's 8 30. Is this a poster of the opera? These freaks watch opera. Hey! Nothing wrong, right? It's a toaster. What? Looks like what I need to observe is in here. What the hell is this? I'll have a cigarette first. Where are my cigarettes? Ha! They'll never guess where I hide my cigarettes. Up your ass! That's good. What the fuck? You can start reporting. Well, on the table, I'm a toaster. I'm about seven inches wide and six inches tall, and I'm made of stainless steel. Anything else? What else? I'm not sure what else you want me to say. Anything else? I'm not sure what else you want me to say. I'm not a to I'm a toaster. Put bread in my slot, and I'll make perfect fucking piece of toast. <laughs> what the fuck is this game? Good, you can go back to your room now. Good. What did I just say? Yo, what the fuck? This is sick. Sweet, how do you like your lemonade? I can make it, man. Any way you like. You're bleeding. What? So you don't want any lemonade? That's enough. This moron is going to die if no one takes care of him. Excuse me, police officer. Get out of my way. You came back alive? Yeah, I did. And what? Give me the rest of your cigarettes, Jimmy. You don't look good, man. You wanna die? No. Hey, I wanna talk to these guys. Don't hang around here. Oh, Hey, Chimney, there's something different. Some wonderful smell on you. What is it? I sense it now. You're going to experience a new life. A different kind of existence. Shit, that sounds fucked up, man. You've changed. You are no longer bound by limitations. There's no beginning and no end. Only chaos. Can you shut up? Pineapple, thank you for murdering my dendron. Is this the end of a life? I don't know. Maybe you're evolving. Why am I even trying to understand? What you're saying. You're feeling different now, right? I do feel strange. I think I'm just tired. Life needs motivation. Maybe you just need a cigarette. What is happening? A cigarette? No, no, no! I don't need a cigarette. I need to charge up. Because I am... I am a toaster. I need to be plugged in to start working. What the fuck? Whoa, I'm a toaster! Oh my god, he's a fucking toaster. What the fuck just happened? It feels so good. Eh? Son? Is that you? What was I doing? I need a charge. Yes, yes. I gotta charge myself up. Holy shit. Oh my god. Am I legit moving around like a toaster? There's no plug. They gave me all these cigarettes, but no plug? Maybe I can make one myself. Got a wire. Got a piece of 
iron pipe. I need to figure out how to make a plug. Choose two from four. SCP-426 closely for about 30 minutes. During questioning, he could only provide a first-person description of SCP-426. D-81 returned to his cell and began experiencing hallucinations, believing that he was a toaster. He died of electrocution after plugging in a self-made metal object into a socket because he felt that he required charging. What the fuck? This is so fucked up! No! This poor man! Test subject D82 named Dorothy Wilson is a 65-year-old white female with no history of mental illness. Uh, psychological evaluation results were unknown when she and oh I can speed it up psych the analysis shows that she's mentally strong and resilient to interrogation she has caused several cellmates to commit suicide and several guards to betray the prison institution was diagnosed with lymphoma cancer before she was recruited by the foundation she was cleared for testing after we confirmed that her lymphoma cancer would not affect her SCP-426 test Mrs. Wilson? Mr. Mrs. Wilson? What happened, dear? I fell asleep! I'm sorry, maybe I misheard you, but you were shouting. Oh, how rude of me. That was what I was yelling about every time I fall asleep. I think I'd never wake up again. You were yelling, bread, give me bread. I dreamt about my children. Whenever I think of them, it fills me with regret for what I did. Oh no, did she kill her family? Seven months ago, I was diagnosed with cancer. Oh my god, I'm sorry to hear that, Mrs. Wilson. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. I came here on my own free will, you know. I think of this as kind of a redemption. Uh. Oh, sorry, we can't chat anymore. I can't tell you more about my children next time. What the fuck? Oh god. Can't believe it. Maybe I should return to the stolen access... Should we turn the stolen access card under the pillow? People should take care of how they look, even when they're old. I wish everyone thinks like this. Jesus, lady. D82, time for your task. Hello, young man. You don't look very happy today. What happened? I'm not going back to that empty room for another day, am I? I know I shouldn't complain, but it's awfully boring. Don't mind me nagging. You know I don't have much time left. Jesus. Please don't get in the way of our work. I just want to bake you cookies. I'm a grandma. Hello, dear. You should leave. Get out of this place. Oh, no. What makes you say that? Do you know, Mrs. Wilson, you remind me of my mother. That's very kind of you, my dear. Just kidding, my mother can go to hell. <laughs> oh my god. In 
back. Tell is too nice for that. But seriously, you're a good woman, Mrs. Wilson. How does someone like you end up here? How did I end up here? Oh, it's nothing. I actually decided to come here myself. What the hell? Sorry, but why? Why are you doing this? My dear, that's a secret! Nice. Women should be allowed to have secrets, don't you think? She killed somebody, guys. She killed her family. Hello? Would you like a glass of lemonade? I'd love one, but you don't have anything in your hand. I would like... Would you like a glass of lemonade? Well, yes, I'd love a glass if you have one. Would you like a glass of lemonade? Young man, is there something wrong with him? Is his hand all right? I think he has a serious injury. It's none of your business. Let's get going. Would you like a glass of lemonade? Oh, God. Oh, no, thank you, dear. Ah, ah, ah. Damn it, woman! You shouldn't refuse him. Oh, did I do something wrong? Enough! Now get out of here! <laughs> what? So if you refuse him, he dies? Prepare for security check. You're always scanning. You don't trust me? Alright, it seems like you don't want to talk today. Most room today. Your task is to observe the object on the table and come back here to report your findings. <laughs> he really should be more clear about these tasks. But this one sounds simple enough, just as well. I might not be able to stand for too long. I probably won't get a chance to see it, though. I'd better hurry along. I don't want to be rushed. Oh, God. This looks familiar. I'm sure this empty room was... I was in this... Wait, I'm sure the empty room I was in before is just next door. I remember I need to observe. Yes, just observe. Oh, is that my tinnitus flaring up? Or did I just hear something wonderful? You can start your report. To be honest, I'm not sure this is what you need, dear. Start your report. Well, I'm a toaster. About this wide and this high. Oh, God. Oh, and my youngest daughter uses the same model as me. Oh, I'm teal green. I think I look good in this color. Yes, yes, I like this coat of paint. Oh god, is she gonna kill herself too? Just like she killed her whole family! I think I can still work. Hmm, what else? That's all I can say. Sorry, I'm not as observant as I used to be. Good, you can go back to your room now. Oh god, she's gonna die. I'm glad to hear it. Oh god, she's gonna die. Old lady, run! You're gonna die! But my grandchildren! Looks like he's sleeping. I guess he's alright now. I think he's dead, man. Young man, it wouldn't hurt to say something. Her family is toast. Welcome back. How's the test today, man? Thank you, dear. It was quite simple, although very strange. Strange. Huh, I guess it's better than reading some bastard's blog for a month. 
Well, at least they weren't severe with me. Uh, they didn't ask me to test some lizards or a statue that looks like a peanut? What the fuck? Did you know I'm allergic to cold-blooded animals and peanut butter? Hi, huh, Mrs. Wilson, you're a lovely woman. What the fuck is going on? My dear, what's bothering you? Women shouldn't be here, especially at your age. You sexist pig. Hey, Mrs. Wilson, how you feeling? I don't know. I mean, how do you feel after the task? Oh, I feel not too bad. Yes, I feel like I'm good. That's great, Mrs. Wilson. To be honest, I was a little worried. I thought... I feel good. I feel... Great, yes, wonderful! I have to do something. What do you mean you have to do something? Mrs. Wilson? Mrs. Wilson? You know what? There's been a little voice in my head. I think it's time for me to fulfill my duty. I'm a toaster. Time to get to work. Oh dear god. There's not enough bread to toast. Found stolen access card? Work, work, bread, bread! Oh god, what the... I can toast any kind of bread there is! Bread, bread, work, work. This is not enough. I can toast more. Is she gonna OD on bread? Bread, bread, work, work. This is not enough. I can toast more. No problem for me. I'm the best model ever made. Oh my god, is she gonna fucking OD on bread? Is there nothing but bread in here? Oh god! This is a nightmare! Why is the bread taking so long to toast? Five minutes later, she could only provide a first-person description. Began to develop hallucinations for a few minutes after returning. She believed she was a toaster. Now she needed to toast bread. She died of internal bleeding due to acute gastric dilation. The autopsy found 16 k kilograms of undigested bread. Or st <gasps> oh my god, she died of bread. What's KG? Kilograms? Kilowatts? Adam Mori, a 38-year-old white male, no history of mental illness, who was sentenced to life in prison for murder. Uh, irritable violent tendencies. Jesus Christ! This game. Oh my god, I might have to end stream, bros. Uh... Fuck, fuck, fuck all of you. Damn it, fuck. What the hell am I doing here? What'd you do to me? No one has anything done, da, da, da. He has us convincing. You think I'm a fucking idiot? You drank industrial strength dishwashing liquid? What the fuck? What the hell are you talking about? Don't fuck with me, I'll kick your dog goddamn ass. What are you? What? What are you? I'm your fucking grandpa, that's what I am. I'm gonna fucking knock your teeth out, one by fucking one. 
Oh, come on and get ready for the lab. Oh my god. Yeah, why am I dizzy? I don't feel right. It feels like part of my brain is missing. Like, like I'm... I am a toaster. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> my god, you're alive! Five kilograms of bread, dishwashing liquid, a, a sponge? What else did you swallow? What do you mean? Toasting bread, keeping my parts clean? That's what a good toaster should be doing. I'm a toaster. I don't want to fight this guy. You don't want to fight me? Fuck off. Bro, what if it was? Watch out for the dude next door. He's been staring at your ass. What? Why are you staring at my ass? Hi, cutie. Oh, God! Take this pocket right here and your life will be all peaches and cream. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey. Tick tock, tick, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. What are you, feeling dizzy with the headache? I am a good toaster. I'm a good toaster. I'm the greatest toaster. I'm, I'm the best toaster there is. Fuck, my head hurts. I'm a toaster. Where am I? I should be. I've been so confused lately. D-083, hey, you old fucker. Do you remember what you did after your last task? Are you willing to re-observe the test object? Listen here, I ain't gonna do shit no more. Just kill me now, you bastards! Fuck! My head is gonna explode! Shit! Guard, send D-083 back to his room for observation. Thank you, just one idiot for the better leads. Yes, Doctor. Damn it, I've had enough, you old fucker. D-083 return to the living quarters. You don't tell me what to do. Shit, what's wrong with me? I shouldn't be like this, I should be... I am a toaster, I am a toaster. I, a toaster. I am a toaster, I am a toaster. What the fuck? <laughs> you have anything to report? Come on, man, I'm broken. Broken? The doctor wants to know how you're feeling. I'm definitely broken. I don't think I can toast any more bread. Bread? You have a screwdriver? There's something seriously wrong with me. Do you need to go to the clinic? Open the door. I need to be fixed. Oh my god, bread! I'll try to toast this bread. That way, I'll know if I'm really broken. Stop everything now. We can kill you now. I'm broken. What are you? I I'm not a good baby bear toaster. Can't toast anymore, but... Yes, I can fix myself. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. Breadcrumbs jammed inside. His breadcrumbs. I have to be locked in a room without any windows so that nobody can see me. It's a Euclid class. The door to my room must be labeled without my 
ID number and personnel details to prevent the spread of my symptoms. Only staff at level 3 or above are aware of my existence and particularly of my properties. Hello, I am SCP-426. I must be introduced this way in order to prevent ambiguity. I am an ordinary toaster, able to toast bread when supplied with electricity. However, when any human being mentions me, they inadvertently refer to me in the first person. Despite all attempts, there is yet to be a way to speak or write about me in third person. What the fuck? After conducting several tests with level D prisoners, the Foundation uh, has determined that SCP-426 causes severe mental harm to humans. It has henceforth been defined as an info hazard. Thank you for reading the SCP-426 safety manual. Secure, contain, protect. Dear God. Oh my god, am I in the Matrix? Well, guess I'm going to the red door. <laughs> Just kidding, going to the blue door. The red door is to leave, right? Am I gonna become a toaster now? Am I Keanu Reeves now? Good job, Carl. I'm glad you made it through. Have you ever felt like there were memories in your head of things you never experienced? Whispers of people you never met? These were not hallucinations. They're your actual memories. Carl, you are not a rookie at all. You are a member of Mega Five. You always have been. Whoa. My name is Marion Wheeler, captain of Mega Five. Welcome back, Gardner Carl. Now, we need to talk about 55. Who am I? Whoa, is that the end of the game? Wow! Let's go, that was so good! Damn, what a fun game! Will there be more? I wonder. Is there after, after credit scene? Wow, I really, you know what? I really like all the changes and like the art styles and the different, uh, from like different story to different story. Wow. Bro, you know what would be sick if they kept on releasing more episodes? I'm kind of curious to know where the red door led to. YouTube it? Yeah! Is there an after credit scene? Oh, let me look for a YouTube video. Uh... 
SCP secret files going through red door. Picking the red door. I'll add comments later, but thank you. Wow! From a new indie game studio. Holy shit, bro. Game Zoo Studio, I just have to say, you guys are incredible. You guys made a fucking amazing first game. I am like, I am impressed. I had so much fun playing this game. This is insane for a first game. Wow. Holy shit. Holy crap. I can't believe this is your first game. This is crazy. I hope you make more episodes. Oh my god, there will be! Look! There's one, two, three, four! Oh, yeah, baby! Yeah! Let's fucking go! Oh my god, that was insane. Uh, okay. Hold on, let me turn off the game. Let me turn on the video. I want to see that what happens if you go through the red door. Choice. There are two doors in front of you. One red, one blue. If you want to give up and leave, go through the red door. Oh my god, I am a past few months will have been like a dream. How we have to go through a damn red door? Something in the kitchen of the restaurant exploded because of a gas leak. The explosion sent me flying out of the restaurant all the way to the other side of the street. I ended up in a coma, stuck in a hospital bed for several months. The doctor told me that the explosion caused severe damage to my brain and would result in what? Would result in occasional memory disorders, but he said I'd be fine and return to normal in time. Maybe there's another possibility. Oh, and it brings you back. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. Holy shit. Yo, you don't want to work here? We're going to turn you into a fucking toaster. And then make you suffer a horrific accident. <laughs> Damn. That, that was crazy. And now, I've been on way too long. So you know what that means. It's time for me... To go! Guys, I've been hanging out all day. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to hang out tomorrow. But I'll try. Uh, if I do, if I do come, if I do stream tomorrow, it's gonna be late. It won't be during the daytime. It'll be, it'll be, uh, in the evening. It will not be during the daytime because I got a lot of, uh, stuff to do in the daytime, so... Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for spending time with me. I love you guys so much. I'll be back, uh, hopefully tomorrow. If not, uh, I'll be back on Tuesday. I love you. Thank you for hanging out.